So I think Lone Druid's kind of been 50-50. OD, another hero I think maybe you've seen more of the Western teams. and Well, not uh, they're not trendsetters yet because the Western teams aren't copying them. If they win the tournament oh, and then there's... the Western teams copy them, then they'll be the trendsetters. I think there has been some... So maybe not direct copying, but it, like EG as well as Skrit played their first games of Morphling on the new patch. They their first games of Terrorblade on the new patch. So they played these heroes in the past, but they hadn't played it all in the new patch until like LGD and Vichy were owning with these heroes. So they were definitely picking up. The Morphling especially was one where I was like, ooh, Envy's playing Morphling or Arteezy was playing Morphling, which was something they hadn't done in the past at all. I can't think of Arteezy ever really being known for having played much Morphling in the past. Hmm. Well, let's see uh, if he pokes his head out this time. Waterman is available. He'll be going to start things off with the Darkseer Spirit Breaker, and there's your lone druid secret. So they secure the offhand carry. Oh, well, I have to wait and see what the state flow on this could be. Yeah. I actually reckon Jug's better than the Spectre as far as, like, the overall strategy where you're pushing high ground with the Spirit Bear with the Healing Ward. That was what Alliance just dominated with during Style Ladder. And a bear just becomes unkillable when you've got this percent based Five healing backing it up. Um, but they like the Spectre because of the synergy with the Earth Spirit. He, you find a, a pickoff with the stun into Rolling Bolt and Spectre holds and it's a guaranteed kill. And Spectre goes for the Urn, Asha, Fusil, Mantis type of fighting build, and it's Earth Spirit can just kill anyone and have the Spectre haunt to him up. So it's two like different combos whether they want the combo with the Earth Spirit Spectre or they want the push with the Lone Druid Jug. They haven't done the I think just, I mean, as far as how you win the game, you need to push building, because you don't need to kill heroes, so... Yeah, that's the game where they, they lost the combo, so it is by no means an auto-win, Yeah, but... Definitely has a strong peak in the mid-game when you get your Manta Diffusal in the sector. As for newbie, they're taking their time here with their first ban, trying to decide what they want to snap away from secret. Well, Venge gets ignored here early on, generally is a pretty quick grab, and... Interesting to see Ubi go for the Spirit Breaker you know, mm. over the Stalker, which uh, some of the other teams like Chi have preferred. Yeah. So they are going to force Secret to do something different. Yep. They will ban out the Mercurial Spectre. I, think, I like the Spirit Breaker. You can just like run it alone, Druid, and like something you charge past his bear. You're not going to get root. You just bash his bear on the way through. So um, I think Spirit Breaker a very good pick in general against Lone Ten Druid. Seconds remaining. And he's just nice and tanky, so... Doesn't... We'll see if they can pull off the Fenrir level of remaining. aggression where they actually managed to kill Lone Druid early on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is one of the best Ten carries to deal back. with the Razor, but does get removed from the pool. No static Link shenanigans. Also, they do be, appear to like these fairly <laughs> low farm priority mids for Moo. So newbie can throw another ban at Envy remaining. if they want to take out Jug or Ember Spirit, but I wonder if they're Five thinking seconds, about the Pilot Eye type supports, like a Romus can cause problems, heroes that can Reserve benefit time. and just gank with the Earth Spirit early on. The Bounty Hunter always has ability, although I'm not really liking Bounty Hunter into Spirit Breaker Ducks here. That's probably actually a disaster case. But some of those strong supports that can also cancel off the Spirit Breaker chat. So Heroes like Rufik, um, you look at Byron, and heroes actually prevent this breakage from being successful. Wow, there's the Venge, so I'm not gonna sneak through any longer. Maybe remove the Terror Blade, and uh, oh, there's Slendy heroes out there. We saw the Ember earlier this time. You mentioned he's been experimenting with Morphling, so uh, it's yep. tough to fully ban him out. So, newbie in Venge. He's in any game, any, and it can be a four position Venge five, it can be like, as a carry. I've, I've seen, been, I've been less impressed by the great Venges. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think it works only if you have a big snowballing mid and like an offlaner who's getting lost. Um, but the but the one who's been very impressive is Burning, on the the carry Venge. I feel like he's the most successful yeah. overall. And Dark's an offlaner who farms lots. So if you get like a mid, like an Ogre or something, I think an Invoker Venge Darks here makes a pretty good kind of core trio to push to be a strong in the mid game either late game's not not too shabby which doctor now snap up a secret so they get another hero to sustain the push you mentioned healing ward yeah well, well, restoration will do in a pinch could still go for the jug if their hearts desire it's kind of tough for a dark seer to kill him off as well yeah jug lanes well enough against dark just because of healing ward and witch doctor zones really well I, I mean, Alliance just showed how good Juggler and Druid is at Starlight. I'm, su I'm surprised the teams playing Druid who came to MDL haven't been using the duo to, uh, like I said, the success they did. I wonder what newbie on the air there. 
pretty mid-game focus right now. No hard carry to speak of. And they go for a bristle. Ooh, this is fight. When they can man up on the bear. And not easy to burst down. Another tanky presence. Also a tough co kill for the Earth Spirit. They've now got three tanks against yep. Earth Spirit. So there's no real easy pickoffs here. And they've got heroes who can build mech pipe. There's a guard even if you want to block the bear damage. And that's something very useful against all the AoE damage coming out from the Earth Spirit with Magnetize. Later on, Lone Drift with Radiance. So, really liking kind of what Nubi have put together here. Five seconds uh, I, I'm, I'm interested to see uh, who that final piece of the puzzle is for Nubi. But first, to see what Secret want to go for. Uh, maybe going to hang off on their carry. They do go for the Nubi. AA pickup now. Yeah. They're, I think they're starting to worry about this new group up. But as you mentioned, uh, see all the, these heroes that can build the big five man items. Hmm. And just generally death ball. Yeah, they'd be able to, there's no heal on the straight up, but uh, the mech type items that they're going to pick up means you can just jump on and focus down, but Secret don't actually have any initiation outside the Earth Spirit, and it's very much kind of like AoE damage right now, so I'm wondering if their last pick for Envy will be something like, oh, okay, Wraith, let's say Wraith can cop it out, um, where you can blink on, choose a target, and try to burst them down with the follow up Ice Blast, so. And that's a main issue that Jug Pick brings He's to the table. It doesn't give you any kind of reliable control or something that can give you a, another good initiating tool. Maybe Ember, but Ember is not great yeah. against uh, Crimson Guard, and Crystal very often does so. Sven, perhaps, is the uh, like alternative to the Wraith King? Hmm. They have a lot of ways to control on Kytus Sven. Nice thing for Seeker is they have the final pick, so they can see what newbie are running mid, and the, that's going to decide a lot of newbie's overall strategy because they, they can push pretty well. Like they want to fight for sure. They've got really good team fight, but whether they're going to be playing more towards the late game or trying to push and things fast is somewhat relevant on what they're picking up for Moo. Secret taking their time. With the last ban here. I'm trying to think mm. what newbie want to round this draft out, and also how are how are they looking to land it here? Are they running to like a dark seer so mid versus our spirit? No. Are we gonna see them both think... the side laner or something else for the mid lane? They could do bristle mid as a solo. That's not too bad. They ban out the light like in yeah. secret. They don't want to get pushed down. What's a newbie here? They want hero? this to go late. They like TA. And they also in the past ran quite a lot of dragon knight for Moo. But I think TA is like one of Moo's best heroes and. Is he good this game though? They've, they're gonna have a it's... lot of damage over time. Yeah, the refraction gets burned away pretty And there's like no, no defensive supports. But I guess they're dire, they're likely to be able to get Roach. Yeah. I think they're a little too physical Ten damage maybe remaining. at that point. Heavy. Lena actually seems really good. They get some oh, single I like, damage. I like Five Lena better there. Um, yeah, the Four seconds. Up. What's it gonna be? Uh, wait, sorry. They, we, they still, we, oh, we we can't see their bonus time because of the overlays. So. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, Nuvi, you're really coming down to the wire here. All right, 35 seconds. They got me. Oh, Team so Bristol mid, I guess. This and is what Eej did with the the How profit person on Druid. It's actually really annoying to lands. When you're playing profit, you just rock the Lone Druid hero with trance while you last hit with your hero, and as soon as you get you... phase boots, Lone Druid actually yeah. gets bullied really hard. You're and if you have support there to help, that. Yeah. if you have support there to help, he gets the first one of your progression. And if you ever try and like test and trade hits, suddenly a spirit kid comes remain. charging in and bam, you're dead. So you can't even try and play aggressive and Five go toe to toe remaining. with the prophet because of that chad threat. All right, secret. They have 15 seconds here to so go, sweet. and they are going to go for the envy yeah. as mentioned. So a pretty, pretty standard envy yeah. hero can cancel the. Char don't really have much catch for him. Yeah, it's a, the comfort aspect of the hero. Can cancel charge, can lane or against stacks here, can catch any split pushing profit later on in the game. But it does make for a pretty greedy conclusion to draft. A lot of space required for both of their carries. It's probably going to be that uh, yeah. three protect two once again. And that was when they did the Spectre with the Lone Druid, that Envy could actually create space for Misery. And that's something which is really like, look at our Alliance and how they had success with the Lone Druid. They always had their mid and their carry creating space for the Lone Druid. I don't feel like Ember does that as well. He generally wants to play a bit green and secure his own farm. And Envy's playstyle on Ember is even more 
towards like the greedy side, the farming side, rather than the like Mutumba Man M Spirit, which fights a ton and always looks to get involved in kills. Like the way he would play like around the Minecraft docks, he was always like, fight, fight, let's. I don't even need my boots to travel. I just want to come TP and initiate, and it's something which a playstyle that Envy doesn't do as much. Where's Storm, by the way? He's he's dead. He's not a he's no longer one of the spirits. I, I would love to see the three spirit draft. <laughs> you know, you could, you could get the, the Ember, I mean, Earth, Ember's they need to add game. a spirit to the game. What would be the next one? Uh, the Wind Do you spirit? go like the Captain Planet direction and Wind. add heart to the <laughs> power of love? Who would be the heart spirit? No one wants, no one wants to pick that. <laughs> no one wants, uh, that's the reject, reject spirit, you know. <laughs> Put that one in the trash. Uh. Alright, Sentry, God. This is a tango. Oh, that's, that's big. I don't need it, but you want to make sure you get the last hit, get denied, and you're scared in getting. That's also just Dark has a ton of fat, which means this offlane gets a lot easier for him, but he gets level 2 that much quicker, so he's not worried about as much about getting killed at level 1 the Witch AA. So having an early deep Could be a good end. And Rune is gonna spawn. Ooh, Newbie, fight. maybe think about contesting this though. They've got four in position. Cask is gonna bounce nicely though. They get Mu in front. He's not all that tanky at the stage of the game. He has gone for the quills and he's forced to pop the fairy fire. It's a drive by speed from the bristle and a double fire and grab for Secret. Off to the races. Look for how does have to teleport out. And we'll oh, actually very get Cask was cooling down there. Okay. Lane looking good now. You know, Secret are in fantastic shape. Yep. Double battery and first blood. And a low HP nature's profit for misery to lane against, which makes this lane a lot easier for him. Em yeah, Ember. So Ember and Darkseer fought over the bottom rune, and it went the way of the Ember too. So that was like the, the dream, dream stuff. Yeah, dream scenario. Bristle really just overestimating how tanky he was gonna be there when he ran in, trying to cool spray people down. And like newbie level one five, just it's it's okay. It's not great. Like break is always like a kind of level two specialist when he has charge as well as bash. He can't bash heroes on the through the charge until the level two. So well, rough beginning. Let's see if they can salvage this one. For now, mm. it is be the all flame lord druid. It's one v one against nature's prophet. Orcs are roaming all over the place currently. Yeah. Maybe trying to set up on Weeha. They do a good job. That, that'll get you back in the game, maybe. Maybe we, huh? Yeah, Trying we... to keep creeps away from his tower. And Chuan is sticking around. He didn't for a have, while. If he'd gotten a kill, they might be expecting a really early bottle to come up, but his bottle's still very fast. So Venge instead will roam on the top lane, perhaps, but Lodgerud full HP, so should be okay. And get down that nice lane wall so you can keep tabs of when Lodgerud's falling back to base camp, as well as when he's at his tower. Like nice Spearbreaker and Prof that they can oh, yeah. definitely gank him there. Yeah, this is this is an amazing ward to have when you have yeah, Spearbreaker and against it that wants to farm that joke. So, good, good spot to be in. Two-minute rune coming up and it looks like a bit of a five at the bottom one, perhaps. Little rumble in the river, could be through, and Leia able to back himself away, has the charge, ready to go, but they would be charging into the cask from Pylai Dai, who actually just got thrown out, so maybe they can commit out of this, they're gonna lose Leia, looks of things, has the fairy fire, keeps them alive a little bit longer, but Pi will be the trade, so it's gonna end up being a two for one most, like the kick roll, combination comes through, Weeha, uh oh, maybe he's in trouble now, Diane Shell could go his direction, he's gonna be forced to turn around. There's the surge on the how on the nature's prophet getting right in the thick of things. This gives the Venge just the farmer in the top lane. Very unexpected way for the lanes to reconfigure. And already there's a yep. charge back towards top. Yeah, Misery better not feel too safe up here just because Prophet TP'd out. This charge, the double damage Venge is actually a little bit on the thin side. Uh, Venge level 1, so no how. Uh, the damage is a bit lacking, well, if nothing else. Oh, that actually cancels the charge with the, the roar, the savage roar. Oh no, he nice doesn't break. have. I think it actually hit there yeah. first, didn't it? No, no, he, he doesn't he, have bash yet. He, he he used it from the air. On the it looked like. Oh, I thought he was. Oh yeah, you're right. Cause he was charging yeah. the hero, not the. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a clip. It user. looked like he had charged and hit the bear and then stopped it. Yeah, so maybe actually, I, I, I just kind of assumed like, oh, Lodru can be very vulnerable to those charge kicks, but if you position the bear right and. What's the play... AOE on it? It's pretty low, <sighs> not right? Sure. Um, 325. 325. It's long enough. It's it's like chains. Like it's pretty doable. Yeah. You, 
Yeah, you can do it before he hits you, but so this he's thinking is... about to jump a misery, another charge. Where's the backup? Got seventeen. Oh. Help! Uh, oh. Too late. <laughs> Only got the two heroes. He didn't. He tried to position his big catch all three, but newbie positioned so that he couldn't get all three of them. Very timely bash there as well. Might have lived with it, or at least forced the spear bear to trade away his own life. So good news for newbie as well. Oh, that butt's good. Lose too late. Gonna try to stop this maledict. Looks like it should be enough to keep him alive. Uh, Bristleback is caught up very nice. Yeah. And Darkseer having a good time in the offlane. He's got 11 CS, close to level 4. Envy's not really free farm. He's close to free farm. He's probably getting like 80 to 90%, but the INL will mess with you a bit, force you to use it more AP regen, even cause you to miss a last hit here or there. Now the phase boots come out, and the fun begins for Dage Prophet. Closing in on the level 6, slow but surely. And once he gets that with this Breaker or Darkseer, you gotta imagine Newbie are gonna be face rushing the crap out of Secret. Um, I am curious to see how much Wee Hawking down. He was very impressive yesterday on. And in fact, so far the entire tournament on the Earth Spirit. It'll need to be. That first Give level 6 magnetize is kind of when he normally comes into the picture. Yeah, I wonder whose target will be this game. Um, yeah, Prophet, a good a Prophet or Dex is fine. Any, any of the core heroes, really. I think more than anything, you just want to use it, get a kill, and try, and just start, start, get the cooldown rolling. Cre and it's more about space creation for your the rest of your team by by just co co forcing rotations out of newbie. And even if you don't get a kill with it, you force like three or four heroes your way. It's lone, space for lone druid to farm for Ember to farm. Uh, uh, smoke from secret. They're prepping, I guess, with Wii getting close to that level 6, and we want to be able to back him up. Possibly get a kill here on the, the mid lane, since there's no uh, cause in the top lane. one how, or are they, are they wrapping around on mid? Those two can't really kill how unless there's a TP up there, which we can definitely do. He's he's great spirit, so... I guess they're going to go for the the more local kill. Sweeping around on the mid lane. There they go oh, with the boulder kick, time. but it misses. The smoke gets revealed. Pi did poke his head out. And the timing is now lost, so... Yeah. Looks like not gonna find the opening there. Good effort by Secret, but it is not rewarded. Yeah, right idea, just slightly off on the execution. Uh, meanwhile, Newbie also on the roam here, off in the Dire Jungle. Are they looking for a jump, perhaps, on the bottom lane? Emperor is level 6 now, though, so that's a tough kill. We'll see how summons some Treants. He does have the Nature's Wrath, and Newbie really want to play around that. They might be setting up on Envy. They're trying to get in position. It looks like just finagling around through the trees. No radiant vision, but again with the remnants, this will be tough. They're gonna try for it. He's popped the flame guard though, right as they charge in, and he's not able to get the chains off. Didn't quite have the mana for it. Actually, the stick charges envy just chain stunned for days and nights. As the prophet will complete the kill, but now they're pretty far. Maledict was deployed and. It is dropping new below here. There's the magnetized rotation. Killing off one, looking for two lay. He's gonna roll the wrong direction though, and ticks down anyway to the magic. So they get the counter kills. It's an ember in exchange for a dark seer and a spear breaker. So two for one. Yeah. I think slightly better. Oh, the instant smoke. All right, they're going back in. They want a piece of the puppy. Can they get him? Cask is gonna bounce beautifully. Need to be grouping up a bit too much, and perhaps we looks for a little more now. If they yeah. stick around too much longer, but these heroes are pretty picky. No magpies, so they'll make it up. That still, that, that still feels okay for newbie, killing off the Envy Ember Spirit and Secret committing and rotating everyone except the Lone Druid down in the bottom lane. Although newbie kind of followed up themselves with rotation. This LD is having a great game though. Yeah, 34 CS on Misery. Let's see, Lad charge over to the top lane, gets the incidental bash off on the oh. Earth Spirit in the meanwhile. And Misery immediately pings the ward saying, <laughs> How, how's he charging me from mid lane? Well, at least the ward has to be here. Unfortunately for Misery, it's about to expire. Mm. But so, join some good game sense. So, Misery, he pretty much always gets the Iron Talon in the off lane, right? No, I guess he's got any. He's just, okay. I guess he's. It seems like players are very, you know, different in their views on that. Some always rush it. Yeah. Some get it a little later on. Some will get it if not having a great time in the lane. And I've seen some players who will get one game and knock it at the next, and just it's just 
whether they decide to get it or not get in the in the moment. It seems like it comes down like yeah. if you have free farm or close to it, then maybe you just rush the Midas. Seems to be a lot of the thinking. They'll even often have the ring of protection and then just never use it to make never anything. complete yeah. it. Yeah. Well, maybe save it for the Vlads later on. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely a flexible aspect of the hero now. So drums profit, but. Definitely following this will be, I feel like, essential to get an Orchid against Ember when you've got no other good reliable control to deal with him. No, they're gonna converge here on Puppy. Quills are stacking up. They want a good to come through and maybe turn this one around. The Maledict's there. Doobie yeah. taking a lot of damage under the town. Then the Magnetize from Weeha arrives and erupts all over them. They're gonna keep on dropping stones. Chuan in a lot of danger. There's the roll forward. The counter plays from Weeha. Finding two kills, including a core bristleback, only for a support Dyer's ancient apparition and misery farming, attack. along with envy, all during Dyer's this time. Great stuff for yeah. Seeker. Nemina might is very good for the lone druid, and CMV get a bottle refill, it looks like, but charge top? Not gonna commit to it as Earth Spirit's like burned up there. She thinking, just looking to protect the lone druid a bit. Gotta say, Weeha continues to impress on the Earth Spirit. 1 0 and 3, and he's been crucial in salvaging yeah. some of these hyper aggressive newbie dives. And he just plays so in your face. He goes through this very tanky build, picks up the Treads Wand. He's sitting on like 12, 1300 HP. Then he goes into the Veil Blade Mail, and it's got all this like. Then he gets up to like 1500 HP with a Blade Mail. You just never want to kill him or focus him down because of that. Yeah, but with all the levels, he actually does a ton of damage, so you get punished for ignoring mm -hmm. him. Uh, they are gonna get eyes here in the river on to Mr. Envy, who's a bit low on mana. Stunned, and Jackie Mao is down. He was going all in to get that 10 minute rune. Yeah, he had a remnant up the cliff, but that was not gonna save him anyway. It was not nearly far enough away as they start hunting for Puppy. And they will control him, lock him down. My god, the physical damage from Newbie. Absolutely ridiculous. As they will easily kill him off and start looking for a tower in the bottom lane. There's a slow split push right top from the uh, from the Earth Spirit, but it is not going to get the job done at the same pace. It's a bit of the same as last game, just kind of uncharacteristic secret mistakes, like getting caught out, uh, be it Envy or like we've seen Wii last game on the OD. Just these kind of pickoffs, which normally you wouldn't see out of those players. Um, they just uh, seem a little just bit want, off. They just want Roach. Yeah. Newbie being so good at punishing and capitalizing on these stakes, like they don't just get the pick off, they then transition to a tower, a Roshan, an objective every single time, and they're just playing like such oh, a. Oh, he said, when I contest this, they just lost their Dark Seer, and I think he had the mech complete, or nearly at that. Yeah, just about had it. Bought it in time, but don't wait in a huge magnetize from Wea, combined with the Death Lord. It's gonna bring right down. He does get stunned through this, almost dead off the bat, charging his way in. He accepts his fate. They will get the counter kill on the Witch Doctor, but it's small. Constellation is three drop in the end. We ha again coming up huge in the big team fights. Not having the Dark Seer there with the mech. Well, that really hurt him. Yeah, he's just hung around bottom lane for a long time. And Envy's, Envy's respawn TP is. I, I can't imagine it was anything beyond like a fire remnant forward into a, a, a searing chain stick they catch. Well, suddenly things looking a whole lot better for Secret. 9 to 8 the score, and Lone Druid has been patiently farming away this whole time. Misery, very close, leading the net worth chart. All three cores up there. But it's still pretty close for Newbie, though. Looks like they want to fight again. Gonna engage around the Roshan pit once more. Treants are already there. Twan does get caught out in the middle of the river. They're going to jump on a Weeha, but Envy arrives with two hero chains. Control trying to lock them down. The Ice Blast comes through, just clipping on Lay. Finally, it's the level 6 on Puppy. They're not done just yet. Envy looking to continue, but how turning with auto attacks, Envy's gonna have to get out of here, the Bashes could do him in! He's gonna Remnant, but it's not very far, the Goose stacks up, the Quills finish the job, a 2-1 thus far, and they're hunting more. Good body blogging for Misery, there's some nice micro to keep him alive, but... Lay just heads the other way to Pylai die as the cast continues to bounce, slows things down, but the damage is enormous, a newbie will grab third kill, their turn to reply. And maybe their turn to take a rush. Yeah, this is just that... Oh, uh, Magnetize is ready again, though. Yeah, <laughs> fighting into that did not go well for them last time, but... This stage of the game where Newbie have the ability to just constantly fight. Prophet can always kind of be active, ready to go. Has gone through this very early game build phase drums. Bristleback, an amazing fighter here like, around the 12 to 15 minute mark. And a hero like oh. Dark Druid comes that fight, but just doesn't offer anywhere near what a Bristleback or a Prophet does because he's farming up, he's holding on to 2k gold. Until he has a Radiance, he's just not really 
a big threat in a fight like that. It's basically 2k number they don't actually have. Oh, uh, we'll see a snipe nice. on the top lane though. How gets picked off and that ends a killing spree. Good grab, the power of the Ancient Apparition Ember Duo, Fire and Ice. Dealing with newbie. Oh, that's gonna buy them a little breathing room. Looks like Envy is rushing the BOTs here, saving up a lot of gold. 2,000. About to be the amount. Do we have the Chon swap ready? Do they have eyes on Pylai die right now? They're gonna drop that ward up the hill. Back in the room. And they really didn't want this thing. There's Radiant Vision that saw them walk in though. And immediately Secret say, nah. Uh, Magnetize uh, nice plus. Not like that. Oh god, newbie, this could leave a mark. They've got the veil up as well. They, they throw in the stuck. boulder. Ooh, that could have been super ugly, but still, they want to fight this. They're going to charge onto Weeha. The wall gets dropped. They're committing a lot for the Earth Spirit. They will bring him down, and that is the team fight. Yep, and they've got out immediately. Too, so. uh, and Puppy just ice plus too early there. I think you need to wait for the Earth Spirit to be in position to get the rolling boulder of the stun. That should have been a huge secret win. When you catch three heroes in the pick. Ice Blast with Magnetize, you're just going to wipe them out. There's no defensive play Newbie can make to keep them alive there, but they just did, rush it. Did Envy buy the BOTs, or what is he going for? He must have. He's had the money for it. It's on the crew, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, if he even had this there, he could have cleaned up, but... Oh, oh Envy in trouble. The Sprout's going to find him. He's got another Remnant. He does not have a Teleport, but they'll let him go, knowing the Tier 1's up and Seek R respawning. And finally, the bots will arrive. Even a nice blast, just anticipating that little skirmish breaking out. Puppy was ready to assist, but won't be needed. Just gonna refill up his mana and come back, it looks like, and try and find some pickoffs up here. But it's all coming soon, so it's gonna get a, a lot harder for Envy to be playing aggressive and to even look to split push when the Orchid's online. And he doesn't, I don't think you. I'm not sure if what Envy's kind of lost to be on the Emperor is if he feels he needs to rush Manta or. Typically, I think you see at least the Battle Fury before the Manta, even when you're against an Orchid. It, it used to be pretty popular to get the Manta first, especially in Southeast Asia, but yeah, I would say yeah. lately we have not seen much. And you're more worried about like the push threat and being able to defend high ground against a Prophet Bristle push uh, with Venge, so Battle Fury kind of going to be more useful than a Manta there. Look at this, the Bristle Blink just rushes it. Damn. Wants to just jump this ember. I think it's the first I've ever seen a bristle like I've, rush. I've away. seen it, but it's never nearly this. Yeah, early. it's like a late game when you've got like a Bissell, SMY, like SMY, BKB, then you get Blink. That's one thing. But... Oh, they're committed on the misery. Chuan decided to go in. The rest of the team's like, no, what are you doing, Chuan? But now they got to go for it. The backs there. Misery's low. Not finished off yet. The Magnetize comes out to combine with the Veil. A lot of damage on the Doobie. Pylai Dai, though, is going to be the next man down. And a rampaging Armadillo charges forward. A turning on to Weeha now, who rolls the other direction. Come Fine, catch me if you can. He throws out the boulder, the stun, the magnetize still going this whole time. Incredible Earth Spirit control to salvage this fight. How will drop us the Nature's Prophet? So far, a two for three. Weeha still alive, kicking them back. Has the veil ready again. He's gonna roll away. Still retreating. Incredible stuff from Weeha, who just won't give up without a fight, but at long last, they'll muscle him down. A three for three in the end. And Bristle wants to make it maybe a three for four, but Envy says, "Yeah, I'm just going to be off here farming top. Don't don't worry about me." I he had another two or three stones there. He could have done even more, but that was just insane. What her spirit can do. That magnetize just would not end. <laughs> And the best part was he was not only getting extra stones for the yeah. magnetize, but he was also using them for the kicks and the rolls. I mean, Bristle Screw stayed it. alive the entire fight. He did 3,200. Yeah. Oh my I mean, God. Bristle did 2k, and it felt like Bristle was just spamming cools the entire time hitting heroes. Jesus. That veil build is really good. Yeah. Especially when you get it that early. Radiance middle tower. Maybe newbie are going to think about a pipe after that, Radiant but they still have their Aegis, and they are going to pressure here. I got to imagine Dux is probably like already on, on route to a pipe. I don't even think you want to finish your like your griefs. You may even go pipe over Blink because of just how important that team fight aspect is. Doesn't and doesn't feel like they desperately need to Blink for the initiation. They're going to have the team fight advantage, assuming they don't just all die to Magnetize. Newbie grouping up in the mid lane and continue to apply pressure. About a minute and a half left, maybe a bit less on the agents, and they're trying to take advantage of it. 
And V, the man in front here, is going to hold the line, and they blink in with Mu, trying to immediately force him back. They will succeed. Envy hit Remnant, but it was in an awkward location over the tree line. Suddenly caught out here. It's in a bit of danger. The Ice Blast, though, comes through together with the Casca and the Maledict. Magnetize now flowing. Newbie are going to start melting to this. Oh, my goodness. Already two down. Bristle back out of the fight, but he will be coming back for round number two with the Aegis. He's going to get anything done this time. He's going to dive on Weeha. Not gonna commit too much farther, so they lose Envy, who has felt like he's a bit on tilt this series as they it's progressed. Some unnecessary deaths here. He did spend his gold at least. But there are, these deaths are racking up. Still overall with for secret. Another fight, 1800 damage. That, he couldn't refresh the stones because he was low in HP. He had to roll out back to his own base, but that was just another huge showing coming out from the Earth Spirit. And that's with Envy just basically doing nothing and getting caught yep. out right away. If, you know, if he gets to a point where his farm and can contribute, that's going to be a real problem for newbie. And Lone Druid, very close to Radiance, had like 4.7 kill. I guess he hadn't bought the relic yet, and just needs the relic and Radiance recipe. So, misery. I think he just bought the Radiance recipe at base, and probably just needs a bit more for the relic. What's he looking at? Yeah, yeah. So he's got a 19-20 minute Radiance. This is the dream timing, I would say, for. Lone Druid. It still doesn't feel like Secret are able to be like, okay, we've got Radiance, we're stronger in a fight now because Envy is going to get more. Well, now there's an Orchid to counter him, and if Newbie can get to like Mech plus Pipe, they're going to be uh, stronger. Speaking of Envy, fight. does get caught out and picked off. The oh, Orchid works its magic. Fresh pickup, and Envy was not ready. That was on oh, respawn. You, I mean, you, you mentioned it was on tilt, and I was going to completely agree with you. Well,. He's, he's showing he's I not mean, playing, like, honestly though, NB. like they're they're very strong without him. With the Radiance, the Veil, and the Earth Spirit, like I feel like that plus an Ice Blast can wipe Newbie, aside from the Bristle maybe. And something a lot of the players have talked about, when you're the one drafting or captaining, your play sometimes suffers a bit. It happened to S4 on the past secret team where he wasn't playing like that world class mid that he was known to be when he was doing the drafting and captaining. I don't know if Envy's making all the shot calling, but he was, he has been the drafter for this tournament, so. Yeah, and it, it seems it's, like Secret have been sure of how they want to approach you, their draft. You have to multitask and think about so much more than just your own individual play that sometimes it does suffer a little bit as a result. We're gonna beat down that bear bit, but newbie not able to kill it off. Oh, we'll see if Envy can get it together. He's, he does have a lot of help here from the team. Is Hal's gonna TP away. Back to the well. Towers has taken quite a beating there in the bottom lane. Arcane and Bristle, that's... Ooh. That's good. And a Juicy. haste. Oh, oh, they're looking there. for the one Druid. TP's coming Misery. out. Misery's gotta be Evacuate. careful. Does oh. Newbie have any vision? Doesn't good look map like awareness. It. And good bear position to scout them when the smoke pops. And you can see Pi just hiding in the trees. But, oh, Pi. He's gonna end up tanky this one. But this will be another kill to Team Newbie. Yep. How joins it. Immediately they're ready to go onto the tower. Ice Blast comes through along with the Radiant Burn. Might be able to kill off the support here. Sprouting the bear. Newbie will back away. And okay. wise they do is the Earth Spirit is hot on the chase. If there was like a stat for Smoke Ganks tanked, I feel like Pilot I would be number one, without a doubt. He's definitely in the top few. And especially with the way that they play, it's really good for the support to be tanking those ganks. Absolutely, because, uh, yeah, it's been the same with the old Cloud9, where it was a similar kind of thing where they're often split farming and tanking a lot more kind of quote unquote rap Dota type playstyle. So having a support who can kind of fill that role and tank the smoke gank and get you that scouting information is very beneficial. Ideally, no one dies, but if it's someone, it's better to pilot die. Newbie in quite good shape here overall, though. They still have some time before Envy becomes a relevant factor in the game. And I imagine they're going to wait for the next Roach before they start threatening the high ground, perhaps, as they all tank up here. Ogre Club coming out now for Lay. And the Bristleback just continuing to beef up in his own right. Definitely don't want to let it drag too much, though, with the amount of split push Secret have. It's just the bear ratting its way around. Yeah. It's getting very tough to deal with. They, I, it's, to me, it, it, they they are going to get, it's going to get harder and harder to deal with the split push, but when I see these like support duos like Venge Spirit Breaker, they just go so well late game. Like Venge scales amazingly well, uh, just because of the the aura, the rush taking potential, the swap saves, you've got a low cooldown stun. Like, like this hero late game is just incredible with what it can do, even in that kind of four or five position role. Spirit Break is a similar thing, having Nether Strike through BKBs, 
can benefit a lot from just having a small item hero there. That it's, is absolutely true. for sure. It, late game will come down a lot more to the execution, and Seeker don't have that big like team fight spell necessarily. Like the magnetize for now is good, but you get to late game, it's the Darkseer vacuum wall, and even like a Spirit Breaker with the AOE charge and the Nether Strike, which does a lot more than just magnetizes pure damage. It doesn't actually um, give you a crazy team fight. The Boulder Smash is the more important spell in the late game for Secret, as far as the Earth Spirit's concerned. And outside of that, they're kind of lacking a, a team fight specialist. They will have to entirely be reliant on the the split push. And not just like the big team fight, Newbie also have the better catch with the Venge. Oh, they're charging, they're trying to find that Earth Spirit. Le is gonna look for the Nether Strike, he commits on the Weehaw very far in. Has the back up though, the back comes through a magnificent one, but the Magnetize also fantastic. And they got off the Maledict through this together with the Death Ward. It's gonna drive Newbie back, send them on their heels. Three melt, and that was just a bridge too far for Newbie to dive. They catch out Moo as well. Again, Weehaw connecting, and Envy is gonna arrive, clean up, collect a little bit of additional gold for his trouble. Ends the streak on the Bristle. That is the Battle Fury, and well, Newbie just bit off way more than they could chew. Yeah. I, mean, I, I honestly still, even seeing that, like, I I stand by, Newbie have the better team fight. Just not when you give Witch Doctor, like, a cask onto two or three heroes with a two to three hero Maledict. Followed up with a mag great magnetize with the Veil. Veil, veil the... Maledict, like, oh, that's just brutal damage coming out. Like, they. That was just a really overzealous dive. Yeah. yeah. They went super far. And Secret knew it was coming for at least, like, five seconds before the Nether Strike even hit. Yeah, I knew we don't need to go for that. They must have just thought they had a, that pick up on Earth Spirit. If they kill Earth Spirit, they win the fight. But Pilot Eye, just the exact position he needed to be in to turn that one around. So, is this just going to be the straight X? No, he gets a BKB. Oh, on Earth Spirit. Good against the the Orchid. Oh, yeah. What's... Probably the biggest way that they could shut down the secret team fight would be silencing He him. gets incredibly tanky off this. He's actually farming ridiculously well, like on par with an Eternal Envy Ember Spirit. That's... So has not come to like a single fight. And the one he had to come to, he's largely died. <laughs> Move meanwhile, we'll complete a more modest item here. He's just getting Assange and Yasha to call his own. I think Secret likely to find the game slowed down a bit by Newbie now. They're going to play more towards that late game. Farm up their BKBs on heroes like Spirit Breaker, Bristleback, and secure Roshan, farm their Ancients, farm their side of the map, their jungle, and it's going to be up to Secret to make place over the next kind of stage of the game, or contest Roshan because of that. No, speaking of the Rosh, Newbie have been really prioritizing this guy. And they are going back to it now, shortly after the respawn. Bringing the Triants in, the Space Cow, also sprinting his way towards the pit. Nobody from Secret in position to contest. They've got great fighting potential around this pit, but yep. they don't have the map control to get in there. So it is another Aegis to move. And now the question becomes, what do Newbie look for with this Aegis? It's only two Outer Towers left. They, so I, I not don't, too many freebies. I don't feel it's a huge sin to just farm a bit with it, or try and find a pick off, but I don't think they should be looking to just five man push and break high grounds. At most they take some out of tower, it's like tier twos, but yeah, there we go. Darks here, putting together the hood, gonna be building Maybe into the pipe, but pipe, BKBs, like these are the kind of items I feel like they need to be getting to to stand a better chance to with, withhold top themselves top against top the magnetize, the ice mm. blast. Look at this, how is going Maelstrom? Top. So we're not gonna see the, what seems to be the standard build, the Octarine eggs. Yeah. Mjolnir on Bristleback is pretty damn scary. He's popping on him and he goes blinking, running in. Running in on the pile, I die, but the stun interrupts the charge. A sick kick from Wii, and then he rolls in, pops his BKB, Ice Blast is there, gets up the magnetized, so too. They managed to pop the Witch Doctor Maledict, and he just goes to work with auto attacks. He cancels two heroes on the retreat. He drags back the boulder, almost finishing off how solo. He's also killed off the Spirit Breaker through this, but then the mech comes in, and Newbie are going to converge on Wii. Perhaps he's in too far. No, he needs backup, needs help. Needs that bear roar, needs it now. Misery there with the save, the bailout. They've lost their profit. They jump back in with the bristle, eager for a little vengeance. But we kicks them away. They just can't finish off this earth spirit. Finally, they get the job done. My goodness gracious, he is out of his mind right now. 
<laughs> Lundred Illusion. <laughs> it looked like a mud golem or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? But man, yeah, we just goes running in. Even if they lose this game, we has been playing absolutely godly yeah. on our spirit. I mean, Jerex has competition. Absolutely. This, that, and that's, this tournament has just made me think it just that, that is Jerex the best Earth Spirit player? Because there is... There's, there's a new sheriff like, in town here. There's looking like there's yeah, two or three amazing Earth Spirit players now. It's no longer just going to be the Jarek show and that hero. Well, they have completed their pipe. And considering where Secret's damage comes from, that's a big pickup for Nidibi. Yeah. And the mech kind of kept Prophet alive for a much longer than in that fight. Hal played, I think Hal just thought he was dead because he had the orchid, could have used it earlier oh. on the on the Earth Spirit. Prophet was looking for the ember in the trees, but Envy is able to jump himself away in time. Used his last remnant for that. Has gone for the blink. So, okay. full on rat build coming out now. Yep. It's like a kind of poor man's solution to the orchid because you've got to be able to do damage before you can. If you get silence, you can instant blink away if you're fast. And he, he's just not able to get this maelstrom into his inventory. <laughs> it's been a while since uh, Hal originally bought the components. Finally, we'll get it. Loon Druid AC. Oh. The other nice thing about the Maelstrom Beyond your build is it does, means you're not entirely physical damage because Lone Druid now has AC as well. With the with Warcry, he gets a ton of armor, and having a bit of magic damage as well means you're not just relying on the Bristleback physical damage to get kills. Yeah, that plus the Venge is a pretty heavy commitment. So, newbie, after that last sequence of events, let's see if they can get anything more. Still have one, uh, I think there's still a tier 2 top, right, for the Radiant? Got the one outer tower. Yeah, but that's it. So beyond that, Radiant's if they look for objectives, they're gonna have to attack. go high ground. And going high ground against Secret is no laughing matter. I think that's where they're, they're gonna struggle for a bit, but they can fight on their own terms outside of the, on the map, and... Like, the bear is actually kind of hard to use against even just something like Nasal Goo from the from the Bristleback, gets cut quite badly and becomes a lot squishier and easier to kill with the, all the slows. Well, the items just keep on coming for Weeha, and he has Radiance earned them. <laughs> that is for sure. Gets the blade yeah. mail now. So he's now got 20 armor, 2,000 health, magic immunity, and he does an insane amount of damage. Might even what, look what for the jump. What doesn't the hero do? Uh, he, well, he apparently can't BKB dodge that one. Now he's gonna pop the BKB. He even deploys the Magnetize and it's gonna send Moo packing, but yeah. Moo's okay with that. It's a pretty short cooldown ultimate. At 80 seconds. Just another thing the hero has going for it. <laughs> Use a Magnetize to no avail. Okay. Uh -oh. 75 seconds later it's back. Envy. Getting chased out by the Prophet a bit. They did have a charge streaking in, but the timing is not gonna be right to even threaten for a kill. Yeah, Orca was used, but it didn't look like they came close to catching him. Oh, he's heaping top. Possibly secret. Eh, they, they don't have Magnetize. It's a very hard time for them to take a fight. Uh, Chuan, maybe? He sees enemy and he, he wants a piece of that action. Take the free back kill. Not easy. Oh, you say free. I don't know. Might be a free Moo kill. Chuan's forced to swap him out. He does manage to dodge the Ice Blast as well. Very good disengage for Newbie. And now the re-engage with the vacuum ball connecting on everybody, forcing them all back. The Death Ward is there to zone out the Newbie heroes as they chase it. And the cast bounces again. The Maledict onto two heroes. Secret holding serve. And then Weeha rolling away, laughing yeah. quietly to himself. So a lot of really good individual plays from both teams there. But Secret, in the end, able to come out on top. Yeah. They didn't have the PKB magnetized, but it didn't matter for them, and newbie, yeah. They, they, it was really nice time to engage. It was as the Aegis expired, so they knew they didn't have to worry about the hero just kind of running in, dying with Aegis, coming back and completely screwing them over. Newbie now grabbing their Vladimir's offering as well, so... Trying to put these items together to deal with the Ember Spirit's growing physical damage and get into that base. They still have not taken that last tier too. Yeah, it's, it's just like the full, everyone itemizing for the five man, getting the Vlads, getting BKBs on all your core heroes, Bristleback, that was his latest pickup now. Like having a lot of just kind of, no real big scary late game items, there's no like Abyssal AC type items, but like BKB, SMY, Vanguard, Blink, just very stable and strong kind of mid game oriented focus for, for a newbie. Well, Vlad's to match the newbie Vlad. Secret grabbing theirs, and Misery continues to keep the farm going. He is still the leader in net worth after all of this. 
while Envy crawls his way back into the game and okay. finds himself third most farm. They are going to isolate late. They get the boulder pullback, stun, silence combo, and hmm. down he will go. They've, like, Nubi has decided a big problem for their line right now is that Spirit Breaker doesn't have BKB. That's why he keeps going to this top lane, trying to farm, get some alone time, because they want to finish his BKB so he can be the initiator to start the fight. You can't expect to have Darkseid Dyer's just be able to run and get a good vacuum wall unless someone starts the fight for him, so having Spirit Breaker in that position works for them. That's what that's how they got a good vacuum wall last fight, but Spirit Breaker always dies without a BKB. Envy, Daedalus coming very soon here. Yeah, he's not even bothering the with the, up top. the Manta against the Orchid. That's just how confident he is. Oh. Uh, Moo, boarded by the bear. <laughs> that thing's really annoying. <laughs> so obnoxious. Oh, you, want, you, want, you want to fight? No. It's it's <laughs> like a poor man's, poor man's Song of the Siren. And right? then when he does want to fight, he gets like five yeah. roots and bashes in a row, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. What a hero. And just mass armor now. So yeah, Vlad's with the AC means, again, newbie don't really have much outside of physical damage right now. Definitely have lost some of their map control here. The lanes are pushing out a lot more for Secret. And you can see them just feeling more confident, spreading out. Spreading their wings across mm. the map. Prophet just isn't as scary as I he needs to be at this stage to threaten those heroes who are split pushing. Like, Feels like he's not in a position where he can't be pushing out lanes too easily because he will get caught out. There's Ember, there's Earth Spirit, there's the AI Ice Blast, which is global. Doesn't go for the Axe Scepter, so he's not going to push out the lanes as much by nature. And until he gets something like a Scythe device, he's not going to be able to really scare the, the Ember Spirit with just the Orchid alone anymore. Yeah, that and or a, a Spirit Breaker getting a, a Shadow Blade, Shadow Blade but yeah. given that he's going BKB, we're not going to see that. Yeah, if Spirit Breaker had a better time this game, I think there's like eight deaths, nine deaths on Spirit Breaker. If he had BKB, maybe five, ten minutes ago and was already like on the way to a Shadow Blade, I think Nubi would be in a really good position. Because, but the Spirit Breaker not being there, and this is an important hero for them scaling into the late game, makes it a bit trickier. Or in Secret Side, similarly, or even in worse position, is their supports. Like they, their AA is not going for Midas. Just has a Ghost Scepter. Will not be able to farm an Ag Scepter this game unless somehow he miraculously survives a team fight, gets a kill on like a carry and suddenly gets like a K gold out of it. So Secret aren't going to see their support scale into the late game. Earth Spirit's not quite peeing as far as what he can get item wise. He can still throw in the Ag Scepter and then you get that, that crazy Ag's upgrade, but some of their heroes are getting at least close to that max capacity. And V continues the scent the network now <clears throat> and closing in on second as he completes the daedalus the items keep piling in and well meanwhile newbie yet to break base and see if they're gonna be able to do this, this third age just that cheese will also be picked up and it's very quick secret. they grab it but secret are looking to contest there's the bot in from envy quickly backs away and the boulder kick comes through we hop gauging Putting his whole combo onto Chuan, who's very tanky. Not an easy grab. Envy jumps in to event stun, but there's not much follow up here. He isolates Chuan, will bring him down. However, the trade is going to be misery. The big bear has been slain and sent packing as they teleport forward. Looks for Pylai Dai. He goes for the scout arch coming through. Oh, almost got him in time. Envy escaping. Red is also changes him. He's going to get him out. Blinks away, has BOT's pen. Looks like he will dodge the, the gank. So they were forced to pop the. Prophet like, Cheese there in the midst okay, of Okay, Prophet Cheese and a lot of BKBs, not just the Prophet one on the team fight recap. That was like Bristle. I think everyone like, used like three beats. Spirit Breaker used his. Bristle did not, it looks like, but um, yeah, I saw a Spirit Breaker. Yeah. And then uh, the Earth Spirit used his as well. Oh, yeah, Earth Spirit, that's right. Yeah. Let's say I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of gold shiny heroes. Uh oh, Envy. Envy Chan. Little TPI. But yeah, when that has comes out, things will get a little trickier for Secret. Still mean he gets one. Yeah. Still a ways away. I'm a little nervous for newbie though. I, I, so many, there was a kind of phase where there was a lot of teams running crystal mid. Um, Liquid were doing it with Fata. A lot of the CIS teams were doing it. And it would just dominate for the early to mid game. And then you'd get to late game and about 45-ish minutes in. Suddenly the hero just got kited. Didn't do enough damage because it goes for all these items. Like BKB, SMY, Vanguard, which aren't like these crazy late game single target DPS. 
oh. items, and then suddenly it f starts to fall off, which is maybe where we're approaching with Moose Bristleback if we're if newbie aren't careful. Yeah, you're also at the point where they have the burst with Envy and on the data list, as yeah. long as you can get caught. You've got Melodic to help you out. You've got, and they don't have a combo like Swap Lasso this game. You've got Swap into Nether Strike, yeah. Swap into Orchid, I guess. It's swap Hex. Not to get that Hex up. That's that's, that's going to be the. That's the not going to be for a while if you're a newbie. Yeah, they have the me. They, they spend the money on the Mjolnir, which I think is worth definitely worth it when you can pop it on Bristle back. Yeah, and that way, makes him a the way they've player. itemized is not to take this ultra late game. Gone for. I mean, you mentioned all the Bristle items, and you've got Elstrom Orchid. These are much more mid game focused items. Mass BKBs. They they do want to end this game fairly soon, newbie, if they can. Yeah, we'll see what Bristle gets. If he gets something in AC, it's basically saying that they want to end and. Not to go too late. If he goes for more like Abyssal, he's saying, I can go late game, I can also pick off someone like the Ember Spirit, Blink Abyssal, a great way to initiate and try and kill Envy. Abyssal would be really good. Yeah, I quite like it as a Vanguard replacement. <laughs> then you can TP in Prophet. The problem is with Prophet TPing in is he can't do damage. He, he has to instantly orc it, but then Envy just blinks away. Down, we are down in the river as the PKB tries to roll away and in a moment of panic he's gonna hesitate here. Now gets caught out, now we'll roll with the BKB and Ember zipping out as well. Newbie trying to get vision here for the chase forward. Moo with the blink in, We with the jump away. It looks like he should escape in the end though. Too late, continues the pursuit just barely out of range mm. to lock him down. Let's call there from Weeha. Yep. If too late make it. A BKB himself. It felt like you could see in that last team fight where he gets stunned silence. He could definitely benefit from a BKB, but at the same time, the Hex is just going to become a, a crucial item for Newbie as well. So, probably a bit of a decision to make there whether he goes for BKB or Hex on Darkseer. Well, Envy had a very rough start this game, but he is back in it now on a mega kill streak 9 5 and 4, leader in net worth. And more and more secret, their core is getting confident, getting aggressive, and keeping these lanes pushed down against Newbie. Making it harder to actually use the Sages. This is starting to turn into like one of those classic Envy Ember games. You're going to see rapiers and... Get your get some caffeine, guys. Yeah. Uh, or have a nap, because we might be in for a long one. And the draft doesn't push. Like, you've got Lone Druid, yes, but Ember, not a pushing hero at all. Or Spirit, amazing in team fights, but Druid. not going to push. And Nuke have good high ground defense with the, the Darkseer and just... Bristle as well, being such a great hero just to engage with, have run in. There's the threat of the swap catch that can pull heroes deep into the newbie base, so... No real way for Secret to push this one unless they're winning a fight and team wiping newbie out. Yeah, you can just see in Envy's play yeah. style that he is more and more feeling like he's got the position he needs to play aggressively. That's where Spirit Breaker wished he bought a Midas this game. Same for A. Uh, AA, yeah, even AA. The, the Ghost Sifter's been like, nice to save him in some of the fights where Bristle's like blinking in trying to kill him, but... Yeah, Puppy is up to 2k. Curious to see what he goes for. But I think more so for the Spirit Breaker, the not getting a Midas this game is proven to be a bit costly. Hard to really tell at the time, because you're expecting to maybe be able to fight and win earlier. And there we go. Will be a Bristle from Bristleback. He picks up a Basher and... Almost has the money. Doesn't actually have to replace the Vanguard since he ha opens up a slot from the Aegis. It's gonna be a big item for Moo now. And maybe some pickoff potential. This yeah. is their first true, like, instant initiation. So, I mean, Envy's response may be to get something like a Lincoln's if he sees this. And he's got a lot of money banked up. He's got two uh, empty item slots, well, item slots he can make, kind of open up. So it could be like a Lincoln's Rape. Ah, uh, look here for the, the debut. The missile's online, and he thinks about a leap on the Weeha, but not gonna that escape. Far, so. You blink, and then you roll boulder, and suddenly you're 8,000 runs away. Yeah, maybe Prophet is the counter <laughs> with the global TP. But you gotta know where he's going. Yeah. Prophet 3k, mention Hex. Just feels essential, Has to, always has to be the next item. I think with the way they're struggling to find kills and in this game, Darks is probably thinking that a Hex is going to give them more playmaking potential than a BKB. Um, and yeah, he's going Hex. Double Hex. Definitely agree with, with this stage, based on their inability to find kills that Hex is going to offer more. Yeah, Tule like getting close to his own, yeah. so... And probably hasn't bought anything yet, but if it's anything other than a Hex, I'd be pretty shocked. Newbie are gonna try to call on the exterminators and clean up this infestation that the Ember created. 
So they'll have three ways to deal with the rat. Yeah. So that's and that's pretty good at it at that point. Plus the spear breaker maybe gets the shadow blade. Yep. Yeah, I think that'd be a great item pick up. And then Envy will go from feeling like he can do whatever he wants to being very nervous yep. and needing supports behind him. Lincoln's becomes very core cool for him, but even then there's way to cancel like you can insta break it with a charge and then have the hero like ready to hex or like blink a pistol oh, as you break over it. near the dire ancient, some warding going on. They are posting up a bit here. It seems like Secret are getting in position to try and fight this one. Mm -hmm. The TP and the Ember to the north, the our spirit rolls down from the Why does Jam, they don't really want to lose this one. Oh, they really are hunting from Weeha with the long range kick, Twan with the clever footwork, dodge it, but still he's been caught out here, gets silenced up. The bear comes in with the pale burn damage, Twan is going to be going down, that's the gem picked okay. off. Do they get anything else? They're still hunting here. No, newbie are going to back. Yeah. And the gem not the biggest deal, like Venge's item progression is kind of already stagnating so you can just buy another one when it's available and there's there's the shadow blade so i mean newbie, newbie doing everything right as far as my nation goes it's just see uh, out maneuvering them around the map preventing any pickoffs you've got your abyssal blade you're gonna have hexes soon you're gonna have the shadow blade on spirit breaker can you actually find these pickoffs that's kind of the the big the big question mark right now as far as this game's concerned and um, how is get close to the next at this point five thousand gold banked up and a fresh Roshan, number four, at 44 minutes in, ready to go. Though Aegis has not proven to do much this game, aside from give some gold. <laughs> I'll give them overconfidence and feed secret kills. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the, been maybe done more for secret than, yeah. than to be. But yeah, 1200 to Daxir Hex, similar story for the Prophet, I think it was. And with Roche back up, they don't have Dyer's buybacks here, so secret could try and capitalize on that if they realize what's going on, but lane and prof Wrath of Nature is just going to keep on pushing these lanes out, making things and life a bit more difficult, but anyway, it's good deep pushing. Yeah, that and the bear. Have we, what did Envy buy? He's got the courier going to the shop. Is it going to be Rapier or Lincoln's is the question. Lincoln's, okay. Hmm. Safe choice, and the Rapier follow-up is most likely, almost certain, unless he needs MKB, but no one's got evasion, so... Rapier will be his final item, and then he may even get. And then he starts getting backup rapiers. Gets his moon shards yep. to hit buildings quicker. You can, I think, even like, yeah, replacing like something like a buffer or the rapier, and at at certain stages is nice as well. So he's in that luxury territory. Depends how hard they're with the prop, but his build doesn't really let him clear the waves that easily. Nocturne, yep. no eggs. It's more, yeah, if you're high ground defending, you some, I've seen Embers replace it just for the single target hero damage. But yeah, both teams know Roche is up. This makes life interesting for the two teams. Newbie have decisions to make. They're the ones who kind of have to decide, do we go in or not? And so they're going to kind of play reactionary to Newbie's decision here. Well, game is definitely slowed down to Secret's liking. 46 and it then scored 27 to 21. Pretty damn even overall in terms of map control and levels of confidence for both teams. Newbie are starting to inch their way forward into that Roche pit, but Puppy keeps tabs on it with the Ice Vortex. Top lane's being pressured, MV oh, okay, MP's on it though. Yeah, this game they have a hero that can actually get those lanes pushed out. No, no weaver. So swap hex is kind of the combo to look out for now. With uh, had they did they get the darker hex? No, they didn't. Profit is not. Okay, he's getting close to it. Yeah, they, 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 ah, it's going MKB. It looks like. All right, they have found Puppy. Let us start this one off. Oh, uh, off the bat, the ice blast is chucked out, but Puppy's down into the trees. He will fall. We have to be in trouble here. Moo trying to control him and lock him down. But then a big combo coming out on the Earth Spear together with the Death Ward pummels down the. Spirit Breaker, at least for the time being. How meanwhile dropping on the Nature's Prophet as Misery starts to chop some wood, brings down two in his own right. And we'll force them out too late. Now the third grab of the fight. Envy not going to be able to burst them down in time, though. Still, they force them back. They're going to lose Chuan as well. The bear reigns supreme. And now, Secret. Oh, reinvigorated. We're yeah. walking into that roach pit. Everyone's getting super kited. Like, the, the AA stays alive for so bloody long just because of a ghost scepter. They have no magic damage to kill these heroes. Same thing for Misery. Mis they, they kind of half went on Misery. Got him down to half HP. He pops ghost scepter and then... They can't focus him, and then suddenly Misery just managed to get himself in a better position and stay alive. Like these, 
they actually are getting owned in that team fight solely because of Ghost Scepters, it felt like, more than anything. Secret now for the first time this game, get an Aegis, get a Cheese, and should be officially in the lead here. Overall, maybe they yeah. do need the, the Hexer here as well in the Darkseer. Yeah, they desperately need some Hexes and... And, and the MKB, it, it's, it was an awkward time to not have those items. They were so close to both. Got punished. Now Spirit Breaker, or uh, rather, Lone Druid with his own Abyssal Blade up on the bear. So continues his impressive farm progression. Send V hunts. The Dark Darkseer ran here to the south. He almost <laughs> he, like, got them. juked them by like running towards them. And then he jukes them by duck. <laughs> yeah, try and kill me now, guys. Yeah. Can't do that. Joke's no, on you. Dead. I'm already dead. <laughs> I, I really don't like Prophet going for MKB. This seems super Dyer suspect. Not getting hex. I, I guess the logic is that Darkseer is already going for one, and so you've got you've got the swap hex there. But their lack of control and disable, like the, they can't. You hex, you can't go scepter. You can control the Ember. It's it move, House problem has not been dishing out right click damage. It's either staying alive or the House got issues here. Hello. Yeah. Gets caught out in the trees. Witch Doctor, our observer is uh, falling asleep there at the wheel. <laughs> Lost control of the keyboard, but uh, that's okay. They still get the kill in the end. Oh, Envy playing responsible Dota, not picking up rapiers. He probably looked at that last fight where the Darkseer just teamed oh, away. Oh, Spirit his rolling in now, looking for the Bristleback. Oh, he kicked him. And that, he kicked him back. <laughs> oh, moves out pretty far. Envy, that, that, that's Bristle over there. <laughs> they don't want to fight him, I guess, with the BKB. But. Uh, the like looking at the end of the last fight, he could have potentially mini bashed the Darkseer to cancel a TP. But other than that, evasion is not really a thing for for newbie. They've got a solar crest, is 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 what they've got there. Mm. Now Secret are getting confident, marching up the bottom lane with the lone druid. They're gonna smack down the tower here, and now they do siege incredibly fast with the lone druid this big. So newbie are gonna have to make their stand on the base. They have a buyback on the Prophet. The lanes are pushing in. Ember's gonna join the party. Look for that Weeha initiation with the the remnant. He is gonna drag the bristle back into the middle of the team. Can they bring him down though? The BKB's there. A Bristle Blade controlling move for now. And he's just not really all that tanky at this stage. They jump forward with Wee. They go for the kick, but he's got the BKB able to survive. Magnetize does get committed. Newbie are forced back okay. though. Oh. See the power of the mm -hmm. Earth Spirit to catch heroes out. And that's going to be like the secret way to win in the late game is to get a pick off a key catch using the Earth Spirit Axe, pull someone in, and that core hero ideally Dyer's doesn't have buyback. So, outside of that, pushing high ground is very difficult. Like, they, they manage to get the T3 tower while Prophet's dead, but they back off once Prophet comes back alive, recognizing that that is a bit of a threat to them. More likely, Nubi will try and engage using that Dox here at that point. Hmm. Hex is now online at long last, but it feels like yeah. it, it may be a bit too late here. Yeah, they're gonna start looking for that swap hex, but Secret aren't gonna play into that. They're well aware it's been coming for a long time. And, and they also have buybacks now. Envy's got the, the Lincolns as, yeah. as well. Yeah. Newbie's teamwork's been very good though, so I don't put it past him to use, do something like a charge to break the Lincolns and then insta swap hex or get like a blink abyssal. But it's gonna take that as the, yeah. the main concern. Oh yeah, the, at this at this stage for newbie to win, it's some incredible execution for secret. They have much more room for error. It's a lot easier to just play their draft out. Like as far as which position you'd rather be in right now, it's secret by far. Uh, I don't think secret have a massive lead, but it's much easier for them just to close out this game. For newbie, they have to make some like next level plays. Now the siege is going to commence now. They get the bear up in front, but it will be sprouted, controlled, and take some big in. damage. Meanwhile, they've dragged Moo in, but this time Moo is on the aggression. There's not the Abyssal Blade on the pilot die. Almost killing off the bear, they do manage to kill it once. Got the resum available, though. And Team Secret are going to recommence the siege, it looks like. Got to be careful not to lose the bear again. They know the BKB is on cooldown for the Bristle, so the next time they pull him in, Moo may end up going down and be forced to buy back. And he gets... Up in their face, jumping in, and bouncing out. Ice Blast coming through, there's the swap initiation, trying to catch one out, and they do manage to isolate Weeha, can they lock him down? Envy starts to cleave his way through them though. Massive damage from the Ember Spirit, and then goes to work with auto attacks, really take tearing them apart, and then the Death Ward comes out, almost finish off the entirety of the team, those last few bounces, 
from the Death Force to get the job done. That's four dead. It's about to be a team wipe. It is. They double buy back to the line. But it might be too little too late here. How slowly working on Puppy Boo rejoining the fray. But the extra damage stacks up. How this could well be a dieback. It will be. Profit down twice. And well could be next is the Bristleback as they chase forward, trying to finish him off. Envy diving deep. We've seen this before. Secret. It takes them forever to come online. But eventually, Envy gets to that pit where he is a threat. And he is a stone cold killer. And with that, Heck secret, now. hang on and force game three. But man, they had to work for it. Classic team secret Dota right now. It's scrappy. It's effective though. It it gets them the win. And newbie, like they, they play the kind of Dota which normally does very well against it. But this game, secret just kind of elevated their play. Newbie never really had the ability to catch the Ember Spirit after like he got the Blink Dagger up, and the Orca just didn't really didn't really get enough value out of it. And I think the Nature's Prophet experiment may be something we won't see Newbie go back towards as much. There was a hero that just didn't really seem to give them enough out of the safe lane, but more than anything, it's just a really well played by game by Seeker. And the other big problem I think for Newbie more than anything was the Ghost Scepters. Every single fight I'm watching, like Puppety, he's in a sprout, surrounded by three enemy heroes, and each Ghost Scepter lives and forces us out and somehow keeps himself alive. These these Ghost Scepters were actually the biggest problem Newbie faced this game, more than like any amount of farm the look injured the ember the spirit magnetus like once you go like it it was like they had no magic damage and no diffusals down of the ghost they just closed them out